Hey everyone, how's it going? I am coming to you from my kitchen. I thought I'd get out of the bathroom and make a video of things that you can use from the kitchen for your face, your eyes, and your hands. Everyone's hands are super dry these days because we have to wash them for 20 seconds um, every time we do anything pretty much and um, I thought it'd be really cool to demonstrate a hands treatment from the kitchen so I dug out this is from I don't know how long I've had it but it was in my kitchen cookbook um, by the way I hope this is reaching everybody in health and safety and that you are handling the quarantine okay all right and um as always my hugs and wishes to anyone directly affected by the coronavirus and thank you very much to all of the essential workers making it possible for all of us to eat and get around and um, especially here in new york city so i want to say thank you before i even start the video my intention here is not to distract you, but to give you actual tools and to um, make you feel like you can do some of your own beauty treatments and self-healing um, for your own mental, physical, emotional, spiritual health. So, having said that, uh, I do want to give credit to Lisa Gibbons because this was published in the newspaper years ago. And the reporter gives Lisa Gibbons credit for these recipes. Um, I'm actually going to do the one for the hands, as I said, because of every, everybody's hands are so dry. Um, I thought it would be really great and something unique to do. So before I even out, it's too hot. Before I even start, I am going to wash my hands and. Um, it's a very simple recipe. These are things that should be in your cabinet and in your pantry, nothing complicated and also very clean. So the one for the hands is has lemon, honey, and oats. That's it. So um, the recipe calls for mixing it up. Hello, Nick. <laughs> mixing it up in a bowl. And, um, you know, I'm not going to do the face one and the eyes. And the reason being is that um, I'm allergic to the wheat germ that's in the one for the face. I love you guys, but not that much. So I'll put the recipe in the description box. But back in the day, I used to, I used to do it all the time. My skin would be so soft. So I'll put that link in the description box and then um, I'm not going to do the one for the eyes because I over exfoliated and irritated my under eye area a little bit. So we're going to give my under eyes a break. And again, that's how you're customizing your own skincare, right? Because the package might say that you can do it every night or every other night. But once you start to feel that irritation or inflammation um, or it's a little bit red, you know that's when you're stopping so you really want to pay attention to um, your own body and and honor your body's wisdom it will speak to you um, and that's another crazy little gift in a way for for all of us is that we're in our own energy and this is allowing us to really connect with what we need okay so um, the recipe for the pampered hands is one tablespoon of lemon juice, one tablespoon of honey, and one cup of oatmeal. So I'm just going to mix everything together. So how is everybody handling everything? How are you guys? Remember, I love when you talk to me in the comments section. I don't know. This is seeming awfully oaty. I hope I'm doing this.
correctly. Um, you know, right now it's um, filming this on April 3rd, and I wanted to put this out for you so that you can play with this at home and have some tricks, tools and tricks that you can use in your own arsenal. Okay, so I've mixed everything up, and now I'm gonna go ahead and apply it to my hands. And you know, today, another funny thing is today, I actually put makeup on. You see? <laughs> I was actually put makeup on, and I did my nails. I haven't done my nails in forever, so that was fun. It took me two days to get all the dry skin off and to get them all ready for my manicure. And um, I wanted to say too, I found a new vegan nail polish line. It, it doesn't have shellac in it, and it's called Smith and Cult. Um, it's, the packaging is really beautiful too, um, and I'm following them on Instagram. So it's called Smith and Cult. So we can definitely say, okay, this is so messy. I just vacuumed. Or sh oh my gosh, I don't know. <laughs> so I'm gonna put the cotton. The recipe calls for cotton gloves. I'm gonna put the cotton gloves on. <laughs> I don't know about this. Obviously, this is the first time I'm doing this recipe with you all. Ready? I'm gonna show it to you. Ah! I don't know how I feel about that. All right, but now we're in the cotton gloves. Ready for this? That is not sexy, but okay. So, um, and it says to leave it on here for 10 minutes. So I am gonna let that set, and um, maybe I'll be able to edit in an after picture so that you can get a good look. And I hope this is helpful, and um, stay, safe, stay safe everyone, and I'm sending lots of love and light. All right, this is the after. I'm doing it over the sink because it really makes a mess. <laughs> See what I mean? So, oh, half of that fell out. Here's my cotton gloves. Let's see. Oh, it feels softer. Yikes. You know I'm OCD, so I'm gonna have to get this clean in the jiffy. Okay, here we go. Let's see. They're definitely soft, for sure. The color looks good. <laughs> All right, I decided to make sure that we would moisturize. So I'm using Soothing Touch Body Lotion. And it's Rose Petal. I use this sparingly because the scent is pretty strong and I, I really actually don't like scents. So I'm using it sparingly, and I'm actually um, move, working it in to keep them nice and soft. What do y'all think? Not bad, huh? All right, thank you. Stay safe, everybody.